Alright, welcome to a card quest car quest speedrun. I wanted to commentate this because um I mean found a trick that I wanted to talk about. And also because I think it would make resetting every five minutes a little more bearable. <laughs> uh, this is my second attempt. I reset the other run because I screwed up collecting batteries in the tutorial. Um, so right now, world record is 36.53 on Deluxe and 36.51 on Switch. The 36.53 was set by me, um, and 36.51 on Switch was set by Bishop. Switch version is much slower. Uh, the, the load times are much longer. Um, I mean, the, the, all the tricks are slower. It's... <laughs> so, the fact that I'm two seconds behind when, like, at least a minute and a half of that is load times, um, I screwed up a lot of tricks on that run. Um, which is why I'm doing another one today. I uploaded that yesterday. And... Technically, it's the world record. We don't even have an official leaderboard right now. I'm sure someone will set it up. Anyway, uh, so I got that wheel token there because it turns into 25 batteries and it actually cuts down the amount of jumps you need to do. Uh, I believe by two. You collect it every time. Um, normally, what you do is jump off the middle of the ramp there to get over the wall, but that's really risky. Uh, so instead, I'm just doing a wall ride. And I think, I don't know if this is faster. I know it's much safer though, but that's why I'm doing it. Because I hate this part of the run. Um, this is the longest part of the run. This usually takes between six and eight minutes, uh, depending on what you do it. I am extremely liable to forget the route. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, I think I think I remember. We do this to get 1,600 batteries. Um, we do the trick that we do first in every single run. Um, then I do the thoroughfare skip for the, the piece to get the piece. Or I, I do a skip to get the artifact that opens the thoroughfare. Um, not actual thoroughfare skip, because actual thoroughfare skip is hell on PC. Um, I, I think Bishop has done it once or twice. I've done it once or twice. But never in an actual run. And then I go to block sheep. And then I do waddle skip skip, which is the trick I found. Uh, we've been looking for that since uh, um, I started running in 2019, a year after the game came out. Um, and we've been looking for it essentially since then. But it's not actually possible on Switch, which is part of the reason PC is so much faster. You can just skip um, a couple tricks. Like, you don't need to do the uni skip at all to skip to get into the university attic um, at all because you just do that from ghost waddle which I will show when I get there I'm surprised I haven't uploaded a commentated run that wasn't live streamed because I watch commentated speedruns a lot um, I guess I'm not really explaining much right now, but there's not much to explain. <laughs> you need to get the 10 batteries at the beginning, obviously, or you can't get to the tutorial. And then here we do all of our battery grinding, because it's just faster. There are 200 right here. Well, 225, um, because the wheel's open. Um, so it's just faster to collect them all right here. Um, we used to get them from a specific spot in the hub, but... That requires going way out of your way every time you need a few more batteries, and then you would just collect a bunch on your way. It was much slower. Uh, and now we don't even reload the hub that much. Um, and we'd have to go over and get those 200 batteries every single time we loaded the hub, essentially. As it just wouldn't be worth it. So this, this is the fastest way to do this. Um, technically, we could get 350 from very, very quickly. Um, in block sheep. However, getting back into block sheep takes forever. Oh no. <laughs> Need to get in a specific position to reset this because for some reason I screw up that trick. I have a really hard time redoing it if I don't get into. Anyway, um, we could get batteries very quickly in block sheep, 
what Block Sheep takes forever to get back into after we leave. Um, otherwise, that would be much faster. If the switches weren't there for Block Sheep, that would definitely be the fastest way to get batteries. But just because we have to go all the way around to get all the switches again, uh, it just takes so long that I don't think it's worth it. Um, I've done a little bit of testing, but I haven't actually gotten it on a good paced run. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure that it's slower. But who knows? I'm sure Bishop will be able to figure that out long before I do. And the last ones, too. That's not a big deal. But really Uh oh. No. Ah, uh, damn it. I was really hoping I'd be able to get through the beginning. Um, without loving that up, but whatever. I don't know, I, I'm censoring myself. <laughs> I don't even generally use the term flub in my daily life. Come on. Come on. Seriously? Right at the very end, too. Every time. The universe hates me. I mean, I get it, but come on. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why I have a hard time recovering that. I think it'd be easier because I get to choose my starting point instead of going from the very beginning, but whatever. Not a huge time loss. What, 20 seconds? Mm. As long as I get a few tricks that I didn't get first try last time, this will be world record. Easy. That's just really disheartening, you know? We need 1600 batteries. It's about. I mean, we use more batteries throughout the run, but we collect a bunch through the run as well. Oh, 1600 is the magic number here. That was too far. Yeah. Well, twice, really? <laughs> uh. Again, really disheartening. But not detrimental by any means. That was close. Um, there, there are very few games where, like, I feel like I have full control um, over, you know, the game. This is one of them, just because I've spent so long playing it. It's like, it's almost second nature to just control the car. Um, it's hard to explain if you don't have that with any games. For me, the only games that really achieve that are Car Quest and Tetris football games, um, which is really weird for me, but they just, it's not that they control well. I, I think this game does control well, and Tetris does obviously control well. And that is part of it, but it's not necessarily because they control well. It's just because of how much time I've spent in them, how much, um, like, it just becomes second nature to play these games. Uh, so now, we need to do what I call the upper hub skip. I don't think there's an official name for it, uh, but I call it that just because it gets you up to the upper portion of the hub. Um, so on Switch, the setup is a little bit different, but on PC, you just want to go full speed straight at this and then turn left after you go up, instead of uh, left as you're going up like you would on Switch, because you don't have any control after you go up on Switch. That, important for later. That, important right now. Will be important at the very end of the run. Okay. This ramp right here, 
uh, leads to Upper Blocktaria. That's why I call it the Upper Abskip. Again, I don't know if we have an official name for it. That's just what I call it. I mean, there are like five active runners. <laughs> <clears throat> Though this skip has been known about since essentially the very beginning. Well, I, I mean, it's an old trick. It's not like I found it. Anymore. But for this trick, it's it looks scary, but it's really easy. You just want to go at full speed, right off the edge here, and then uh, hold the brake, uh, drift, and right. I'll just go straight over the gap, no issue. Yeah. Well, don't usually mess that up. Come on. <laughs> This is like the easiest trick in the game. Okay. Uh, so that wall has really weird properties, and I will show it off for more with bottle skip scoop. Um, but I mean, it's you can basically spider without the spider car. It's weird. So that lets us get straight to block sheep without any issue. And normally, or on Switch, it's a lot easier. You can technically do it on PC, but it's pretty difficult. Uh, you can just skip over the block from the thoroughfare. Um, but because of Waddle Skip Skip, I think that's actually faster to just do thoroughfare, thoroughfare skip there. Because you do need to do it eventually anyway. Or you don't, but I mean, it's, you know, it's hard. It's easier if you just do thoroughfare skip, and I think that's the best place to do it. Um, block sheep skip is one of the easiest skips in the game. For some reason, I always mess it up. There we go. Getting that first try is one of the most satisfying things about speedrunning this game. that I didn't get it first try. <laughs> yeah, you want to boost here as much as you can, but I'm trying to be safe about it, because, I don't know, I want to be safe about it. Alright, this is already ahead of my PB, I'm pretty sure. Or at least tied, because I screwed up Block Sheep a lot on PB. Alright, now we have a skip in here that's really easy that I always mess up for some reason. Uh, my window's open, so if you hear any background talking or rumbling, that's fine. You just go over here, turn around, use this wall to get this artifact here. Hey, first guy. Hey, I'm definitely out of my PB now. Mm. Uh, I think if every trick has gotten first try, sub 35 is easy. Um, like, even without super good lines. Lines aren't super important in this game, especially right now. We're still in its infancy when it comes to speedrunning just because of how few people are actually running it. Um, eventually, it's going to be like all the tricks of first try. We have the best route possible. Um, and it's, it just comes down to our lines. At that point, I'll probably be done speedrunning any percent because I just don't think that would be very fun. Anyway, now it's time for Waddle Skip Skip. And then post Waddle Skip Skip if I can get it. Um, normal post Waddle Skip is really hard on PC just because of the spider properties of the wall it actually flings you towards the wall uh, when you go over it it's weird hopefully I won't have to show it off in this run so we come back up here and this is the weirdest thing <laughs> I found this on accident but you can just you can just do that really easy Again, I found that last night, so <laughs> I can do it first try every time. It's absurdly easy. All right, post water skip. Let's skip.
Oh no. Okay, well, I kind of got it. Fine. Yeah, that works. <laughs> um, normally, you'd want to go flying over the wall, not land on top of it, and you'd want to land in there. But this is fine. Works well enough. Um, okay, before I get the switches, I want to grab this because I'm going to need it later to get into ice. Okay. Then... Into the planetarium. I don't know why I have my headphones on. I have my headphones on right now. But my game audio is coming out of my monitor. I'm a little shaky. <laughs> Just because uh, the these aren't run so far, right from the couple mess ups at the very beginning. And uh, this has pretty decent potential to be world record. I think I don't, like, really mess something up. Um, there aren't very many tricks that are viable to be screwed up really bad. There's one at the very end um, where you have to hit a switch and then jump over a wall. Uh, and if you screw up the jump, you have to go all the way back to the switch. And it just takes so long. <laughs> um, each failed attempt is lost like 30 seconds at least. It's awful. When my PB actually got that first try. I was really excited about that. Um, you can mess it up once without too much of a time loss because there's a backup strat. But after that, after you do the backup strat, uh, if you mess it up again, it's a huge time loss. Okay, so now you need to go into generator. Gen the generator walls have the exact same property. I have no idea why. Um, geez. Oh no. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm gonna try something a little experimental. Uh, and if I don't do it first try, I'm not gonna continue it. I think I can afford a little mess up uh, for that specifically. Uh, that wall that was in front of us before I just turned. Uh, that's the one you gotta jump. You gotta hit a very, uh, one of these, I think they're called binary block switches. Um, but it's on the opposite side, and it's after you do the bristle. We're about to do a bristle. This is a generator. Uh, I, the generator walls have the exact same property uh, as the uh, waddle skip wall. Waddle skip skip wall. Uh -oh. Yes, okay, this works. Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> now we just push this. Right on the way, though. Might have pushed that back too far. Now we're good. All right, schmoovin'. We're on good pace right now. Because, again, this is my second run of the day, but I reset my first run on tutorial, so. This, uh, has potential. This has real potential. I don't know how many other walls <laughs> that works on. Um, that has the potential to just blow open the game, you know? Uh, the route might change significantly from now. Hey, I hold world record right now, so. Good me. This is the first time I've ever actually held world record. Uh, technically, right now. Uh, Bishop is much better at the game than I am. And Hot Coco has second place on Switch, but I had second place on Switch for a while. Um, if I had done the run that got me second place last time, uh, like a day or two earlier, I would have had world record. But, you know, whatever. It's not like I'm doing this for the world record. <laughs> it's not exactly the most prestigious thing in the world. but. Uh, it's just a fun game with a fun community. Oops. I think I wouldn't do that anymore. I've done Limbo enough times by now to know it by heart. Oh, of course, same thing. I thought I was overcorrecting to not hit that wall, too. Wait. Um, and you actually have to wait for the artifact to disappear completely to put out to the main menu. Otherwise, uh, you won't actually have collected the artifact when you load back in. Cool. I'm on good pace. <laughs> I'm on a really good pace. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Right, 
first try bristle? Probably. He better be battling down the head. I is unstoppable. Bristle used to be really hard for me. It's not anymore. I want to get all these batteries for security's sake. I should be good on batteries, but you know, just in case. Damn. Mm, oh, I might be a little short. That number is not looking good. <laughs> ah. Okay, so now we gotta go to Whale. And the problem with that <laughs> is there is a specific uh, trick that I have to do now because I didn't do normal waddle skip. It's not a huge deviation in the normal way we do this. Normally you just drop down right here because there'd be a bridge that you got artifact. Come on. No! Oh. <laughs> but instead, I have to get up there and then drop down later. Um, and there's a specific point you need to drop down, because otherwise people will bonk um, and fall. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> mm. okay. Still BB pace. Just um, not quite as much now. Speed and trap. Come on. Cool, okay. The trick is scary. Mostly because I just haven't practiced it all that much. That was my second time ever. Third. That was my second time ever doing it successfully. My third attempt ever. Well, fourth, if you count the screwed up attempt. So because of that fall, I actually don't know if I'm on pace uh, to actually line up with the block oil. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wanted to be safe about that. I probably would have been fine, but I just didn't want to risk it. If you fall after collecting that piece, the piece won't be there, but you won't have collected it because you fell. Um, so you have to quit out and load back in. That's real bad for an RTA time. And falling at all is bad for any time. We do actually use RTA just because... I, th I personally think we should use IGT just because like load times are going to be different on all PCs. But we do use RTA right now. He, mostly because the game's timer is a little weird. Um, it resets sometimes. I think it's primarily due to not collecting the first piece in some runs, but, you know, I don't know, it's weird. I'm a little short on batteries, I think. Um, I don't know, I should be fine. It's just... <laughs> okay, so there's a way to skip the thing I'm about to do next. Hey. Uh, I don't know what the setup is. No, Bishop does it? I don't know what it is. I don't know how to do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and come down here. And chess. I gotta play hot stuff. There's more on the line outside too, of course. <laughs> Great time to do a speedrun. Uh, this is why we needed that third artifact I collected here in the hub, because of this. This is hopscotch, and it opens the wall right there where the artifact is. That's what that piece opens. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do this. To get that uh, stained glass. And of course, you need all the stained glass to keep the game. Okay, so we need to come here, get a couple pieces, um, and then we're gonna go do ice. Um, and then later, we'll actually come back and get a different piece here. Because the, the piece that we need to unlock 
uh, to go back around the back of the well, of the arena is actually behind the start of the area. So. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My nerves are getting to me. It's just car quest. Come on. get into and out of ice. Um, yeah, it might need to make a pit stop, get some batteries soon. Hopefully not. Uh, I might be just barely good. That's always concerned with these runs. Ooh. The slippery. It's hard to explain how this game feels if you haven't actually played it. <laughs> it definitely does not feel like you'd expect a car game to play. It's a lot slippier. But I, I think it still feels really good to play personally. Um, I think I'm uh, 100 batteries short, so overall it should be okay. I don't remember if I can make this. I'm gonna try. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Push that. Then. I love ice. Ice is a lot of fun. I lost a little bit of time on ice. My PB. Not too much, though. It's really just, like, keeping up with the penguins. That's the hard part. Um, and even then, they're relatively slow. We have plenty of time. So if you do badly mess up a trick, you might have an issue. These are all skips, by the way. Like, basically everything I'm doing here is a skip. <laughs> Cut this. This is intended. And then the next two pieces I'm getting are intended. But then, you know, everything else basically is skip. Ice is a lot of fun just because it's easily skippable because the penguins are a lot of fun to race against race against the penguin um, the penguins are immovable <laughs> the car has literally no effect on them it's fun I think okay I might have to do the piece that gets into the Arena, uh, because otherwise I won't be able to actually do the backup strat. I'm gonna go back here, just get the batteries. I really don't want to be short right now. <laughs> I missed a piece? No, 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 no. Alright, you're supposed to go back here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Nerves, come on. <laughs> okay, I should be good on batteries. We're, we're fine. We're good, definitely. I just wanted to be safe. I need 300 for the entire rest of the run, including exiting this level. So, well, okay, 300 can, but... There are 10 where you need them to be, if nothing else. Okay. And we gotta do the hard jump that I was talking about earlier. Might have to do the backup strat. Hopefully not, because I... I hate the jump and I just want to get it over it. <laughs> I don't know the rationale behind doing the arena last. I just know that's what Bishop does. And Bishop's good at the game. So, I've just been doing that since I started. Oh, 
just go, 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 go. Come. Yes, okay. <laughs> That's the hardest part of the, the rest of the run. Everything else is easy. Everything else is essentially intended, really. Ah, okay. Feels good. Just have done. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. That would be annoying. <laughs> Pace. I'm not, I don't actually know my time right now. I just glanced over and saw a three in the tenth place. So, I mean, either way, better than my Switch PB. This could be a good time, this could be a decent time. I'd say anything below 40 minutes is a decent time. Um, for any runner of any skill level, uh, unless you're just starting. I think a good first goal, like an hour of hour, um, you know, depending on what route you're using. But if you're using this route specifically, sub 45 is a good place to go for. If you're using an older route, you know, for time. Um, sub 35, immaculate time. <laughs> right now, that's my goal. Not for this run specifically, though. Again, I'm not exactly sure what my time is at this exact second. I really hope I didn't forget something. That would be embarrassing. And really annoying, too. Because this is a pretty good run, especially the back half. running through my head like <laughs> uh it should be good I, I'm, I'm just gonna stop thinking about it okay so now we need to do the jump behind the start i'm gonna come to about this arch unless you're using you know one of the other cars in the end but we're, we're just using original okay. over here It looks like I got all the stained glass. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. Stretch. Good. I was just about to say I've fallen off here, so I need to be careful. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> I can't see anything go away, artifact. <laughs> be the safe. I'm gonna use the safe strap because we'll use this run. That's a good run. You, the risky strat is dropping off the other side. You gotta be really close to the edge. Um, okay. Now we drive to the end. Dropping off completely might actually be faster than just reloading. Or not reloading, but you know, respawning. With the art, you can just drop down straight to the museum. But I can't imagine it's that big of a difference. Wait, what's my IGT? 34. Sub 35 IGT at least. Um, that might be sub 35 RTA. That's world record at least. Let's go. <laughs> All right, um, that's definitely world record for both versions. That's really nice. Uh, sub 35, absolutely possible, obviously. I'm not sure about sub 34. 
did lose a lot of time. I think sub 34 might be possible. Um, definitely bishop. Bishop's definitely doing that. I feel good about that run. Uh, I'm happy with this for a while. I'm gonna get some food. Um, so thank you for watching. Oh yeah, I'm in the credits of this game. I forgot. <laughs> Come on. We'll, we'll sit here for this. Here I am. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, and the the other runners are also in the credits because he, they were beta testers uh, at the bottom there. Bishop, a throat, and hot cocoa. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Love you all. And uh, actually, what's my GT? Thirty-four, thirty-nine. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. I love you all. Uh, I don't know how to end this. <laughs>